So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. Any question that's more than four lines long, I typically put in the translate word problem category. And all this strategy really means is that instead of me just reading all the way through from start to finish, I'm going to stop at the end of each sentence, make sure I understood that sentence, and make sure I write down any quantitative information from that sentence before I move on. So the first sentence here says a cube has an edge length of 68 inches. So I'm gonna use a little bit of plug in picture strategy here as well, where I'm gonna draw a cube. It's not perfect, but you can see it. And I am gonna label this cube with the information provided so I know that each of these edges is 68. I'm gonna just gonna represent a height as 68, a length as 68 and a width as 68. But I know that every single line here, basically, they're all 68s. A solid sphere with a radius of 34 inches is inside the cube. Okay, so I'm not gonna draw that because it's gonna look really weird to draw, but I will just draw a circle here and say that's my sphere. And I know that the radius of this sphere is 34. And I know that this is inside. Okay. Now, what do I know about that? Well, if I were, you know, I, maybe I will, like, I have the benefit of having separate colors. You are not going to have this benefit on your test, but if I had a sphere inside of that cube and I knew that this radius, I'm going to draw straight to the top of this cube is 34, then I would know that the diameter, right? A doubling of the radius, the diameter would be a total of 68, which means the cube touches the top I'm sorry, the, the sphere touches the top and bottom and right side and left side of the cube, right? All of these are have a total length. This total diameter is 68. This total diameter obviously is also 68. So there's my sphere inside of the cube. Let's see if that works out for me. Uh, next, it says such that the sphere touches the center of each face of the cube. So we say that to the nearest cubic inch, what is the volume of the space in the cube not taken up by the sphere? All right. So here's where, you know, having this drawing was not really necessary, but it does at least give me a visual of what I need to do. I'm asking for the question is asking for the space not consumed by the sphere. Well, in essence, it's asking for the volume of the cube minus the volume of the sphere, right? Because if I filled this entire cube with red and then I came in and subtracted the volume of the sphere, then you can see the only red portions left is the volume of the cube that is outside of the sphere, right? The volume of the cube not taken up by the sphere. So how do you find the volume of a cube? Well, that information should be provided to you at the beginning of the test. So the volume of a cube, the formula is, um, let's see, the volume of a cube is just psi, length time, width time, height. So this is just gonna be actually just psi cubed. We know that each edge is the same. So I'll just say S to the to S cubed. And then the volume of a sphere, just looking that up separately here, this will be provided to you on the test. The volume of a sphere is equal to four thirds pi r cubed. So we know that S is 68. We also know that R is 34. So all we're doing now is plugging this information into this situation here. So we have S cubed, so 68 to the third power, minus 4 thirds pi, 34 cubed. You'll have an integrated calculator for your digital test. Here, I'm going to use my regular calculator here. So 68 cubed is equal to 314,432. And then I'm going to do some math here, 34 cubed and I'm gonna multiply that by pi. And I am going to multiply that by negative four. And I'm gonna divide all that by three. And what I get here is minus 164,636. 
and then some decimals there. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna combine these two things together. So plus my three, one, four, four, three, two. And what I get as a final answer here is 149, 796. And therefore the correct answer here is choice A. So I took a bit more time with this video. This would not take as much time for you to solve on your own. Obviously the key here is understanding that this is what you are doing. This is the translation of the question V cubed minus V sphere is what you're finding. The rest is just plug in and chug through um, all the algebra.